Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Jerry, and uh, welcome to another Zomo Lomo video. Uh, I got a request to look at uh, ESET's uh, Smart Security 4. This is um, <clears throat> going to be their latest version 4.2. As you can see here from my uh, browser, I have it up here. And uh, main modules, according to the website, is any virus, any spyware, personal firewall, and anti-spam. Uh, they have an anti-stealth technology against rootkits, so it does protect against rootkits. Uh, phishing attacks, they have a, a sys inspector, which is like a, a PC tools. Uh, protection from the unknown, they have a threat sense technology. Um, delivers the most effective protection against new attacks on the market. So it's kind of like a heuristic type of uh, scanner. Um, lightning fast, delivering superior scan, scanning performance. So it's supposed to be a fast scanner, uh, easy on system resources. Um, it's supposed to be an intuitive and uh, easy to navigate interface. So we'll take a look at it to see if that's the case. And uh, new features is a self-defense mode. It's a built-in technology to prevent malicious software from corrupting or disabling the system security, so it protects itself against attacks. Uh, the Sys Rescue is their bootable CD or, and or USB that you can create to uh, boot from that in case something happens to the system. Portable media access control, uh, including USB, CD, flash disk, uh, closing this vector of potential malware infiltration. Encrypted communication, uh, support of more email clients, non-graphical user interface with the option to switch automatically to high contrast mode when in Windows, smart optimization, permitting increase in scanning speed, um, you have an integrated ESET Sys Inspector. It's a diagnostic tool for in-depth analysis of the operating system. Uh, integrated anti-stealth, trusted zone, authentication, and firewall profiles. I mean, it seems to be pretty jam-packed. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, install it. I've already downloaded the installer. It's only about 37 megs, so uh, it should go pretty quick. So let's go ahead and install it. Once I install it, I will come back and uh, show you what it looks like. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. And if, uh, as always, if anything out of the ordinary happens, I'll come back and show you that. So uh, be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you as you're doing the install, um, it asks you whether to enable detection of uh, potentially unwanted application or disable detection, well, um, I think most people would want to enable that uh, that detection and, and get as much out of their um, any, any spyware or anti-malware software as possible. So just wanted to show you that, that it's kind of funny that they ask you, do you want to enable it or disable it? In any case, I'll wait for this to install and be right back. Okay, guys, just uh, installed ESET NOT32, just uh, updated the virus database. Uh, looks like a pretty straightforward uh, interface. Um, let's see, you have antivirus protection, any spyware protection. Um, hmm. I thought I was going to get the smart security, but looks like the antivirus. Uh, downloaded instead. That's kind of weird. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, hold on one second. We're right back. Thanks. Okay, guys, I'm back finally. Uh, basically, I had to start over again and reinstall. He said smart security. Um, the installer is a little bit bigger. It's 42.2 megs. And uh, I have the latest version installed, which is version 4.2.64.12. So I uh, just did an update. So that's all set. Uh, and um, the protection status is that uh, caution because. Uh, 
it wants me to update Windows, which you know I'm gonna reset this anyway, so it's no, um, it's really no, uh, nothing really important I need to do at this point. In any case, I have antivirus, any spyware, personal firewall, and anti-spam protection. So uh, everything is set up there. You have your read data and write data that it monitors uh, as far as file system. And also you can click on network activity to see what's received and what has been sent. Um, your network connections, uh, you can configure this. You have your st statistics, uh, number of infected objects, number of cleaned objects, and number of um, what is not infected, what is clean. So uh, it just tells you how many files that you have, and it gives you a snapshot of what your computer looks like, which is pretty cool. You can do a smart scan or a custom scan, and then you can configure your scan and set it up by default to do a smart scan, an in-depth scan, or a context menu scan. Uh, you can set up threat sense parameters um, to basically scan specific objects, uh, your options, um, potentially unsafe applications. We'll check on that. Uh, we're basically at default level, which is fine. Uh, scan all files, that's good, you want that. Uh, default object settings is fine. And then um, this is basically for your logs, so that's good. And going back to the main interface, uh, you have your update tab, which you can update uh, automatically. Um, you can set up a username and password. If, uh, if, well, it actually, it, by default, you have to set up a username and password, which is pretty annoying, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, but that is what it is. So here's your setup. Um, you have antivirus and any spyware, everything's enabled. Your firewall, everything's enabled. And anti-spam for email is enabled. You can uh, go in and configure each component if you wanted to, okay? Uh, there's an easier way though, uh, I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. So under tools, you have log files, you have number of quarantine items, you have your schedule or scheduler, and your sys inspector, which uh, looks at the health of the system itself. Um, and then you have your health and support. Now up here, you can switch from your advanced mode to a standard mode, depending on how comfortable you are with configuring your antivirus. Uh, you have your setup for username and password. If you want to set up a proxy, um, antivirus and any spyware, firewall and anti-spam settings, you have uh, your import and export settings, which I'm assuming you can import from something from another uh, application, those settings, and you have advanced setup. Okay, now if you go into advanced setup, this is their setup, they call it their setup tree, which is uh, everything under this um, interface or under the program that you can configure. Um, everything from your antivirus and any spyware to uh, firewall, uh, any spam, update, your tools, your interface, even miscellaneous. So everything here, if you start from the top, um, your real-time system protection, everything is checked here. Um, you can set up a threat sense uh, parameter setup. So you can, uh, under objects, you can check on <clears throat> what objects it scans, your options, um, your advanced heuristics, your regular heuristics for uh, potentially unsafe applications. Uh, I guess if you click on advanced heur heuristics, it's kind of strict and you may end up 
uh, getting false positives. And under your advanced setups, um, you can block removable media. It gives you more options there. So lots of um, lots of settings: email, web, uh, web accessing virus and spyware protection. You can you can set that up as well to uh, either do a no cleaning or a strict cleaning situation. Um, let's see on demand scan, and again you have your default, which is a smart scan, which is, you probably would want to leave it at that. If you have uh, again threat sense, you can configure this and set it up the way you want. Uh, you can set up exclusions. Um, you have your firewall, which really, unless you, um, you really know what you're doing or you want to get in there and set it up a certain way, I wouldn't really mess with the firewall. Your any spam for email. Uh, you can configure your, your, your update. You have your username and password here. You can set up uh, additional uh, settings. Um, and you know, basically, it's uh, pretty straightforward, similar to other programs. You have uh, several different settings that you can configure based on how you want to set it up. Uh, and you can also get to the um, you, can, you can get to your update from where did I see it? Um, yeah, from here. So there's different ways of getting to it. It's just uh, de depending on where you are in the interface. <clears throat> you know, if you want to um, set things up. Here's your notification icon here. You can open it. You can hide the window. You can scan from here and update from here. You can go into that uh, setup tree from from there as well. Um, you can block network traffic. Um, disable file system protection. Disable any virus and any spyware. Um, you can look at your quarantine. To see if anything was quarantined or what the, what the uh, status is there. Uh, so I will uh, try to update this one more time and uh, come back for a second video and uh, we'll do a prevention test. So um, stand by, we'll do part two and that will be the um, prevention test. So see you in a minute. Thanks for watching, guys.